everyone. I recently went shopping, um, just did a little, uh, Salvation Army, yeah, to pick up some, see what I could find in magazine. They're, they didn't have very much, uh, their stuff, they had some decorated magazines, food and wine, and better homes and garden, um, and they had more and more of the same thing. So I just picked up one of each. I did find this awesome book. But the pictures are way too big for my glue book. So I don't know how that's going to work. But I had to get it. I mean, I'll give you like, it's, it's art on mothers. And here you can see that. It's pretty cool. I don't see my video playing. Why don't I see my video playing? Come on. There I am. Okay. So, um, so I found this book, and it's it's got beautiful paintings, and it's all of mother's, uh, themed which is pretty cool but these are huge pictures so i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do with this book i could use it as some kind of art book and and put my my own thing on the opposite page not sure yet but as you can see the, the pictures on here i don't have the heart to like cut them out and stuff I have to look at this one for a little while. Look how pretty all that Victorian stuff is. And, and they have some modern ones here, too. So, anyway, I found this one for a dollar. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so... What I normally get my um, images from is this magazine, Vanidades, which is a Spanish... Uh, fashion kind of people magazine stuff and my mom had a, a subscription for a few years <clears throat> and she kept all of them so I go through them every now and then and start looking for stuff so most of these I've already gone through and picked out things um, and you're gonna see I'm gonna come across some some holes what I'm looking for <clears throat> is images that will fit my little glue book, okay? The glue book here has gotten fatter, yes. See, they have to fit this area, and this is, let's see, Brandy Burger says hello. Say hello, Brandy. I hope y'all doing good. This is about seven inches. This is like a you know, it's a five by seven thing, so it has to fit that area. And I'm almost done with this book. Might have to do a flip through later. And I started on a new one. And I'm gonna show you the new one after we go through all this. So anyway, I'm looking for small images um, that I can cut out to put in my book so let's see what we got here um, this is interesting it looks like some kind of uh, ancient art or something I don't know it's too small never mind not going there now look at this this is a framed painting so if you can see a good that's perfect I'm gonna cut that one out and use it make sure there's nothing in the back I want hmm I want those coins so I'm going to take this whole page out I hope I didn't rip off a coin no what's the B for oh Bitcoin coins <laughs> but I, I love that little painting that's perfect so we're gonna keep that's gonna be a keeper and I put it in a pile um usually I have a box Let me see. I, got, I got a 
I have a box where I throw all the things that need to be cut and this box right here so it's going to go in the box and then whenever I have time and I'm watching a movie or something I can sit there and fuzzy cut that's kind of interesting I don't know if you can see it um but no it's kind of weird Let's go back. I've had these um, magazines for years this is neat that's a stamp in Republic of China if, you, if I cut it out really nice and neat it's going to look like a real stamp so I'm going to tear this one out and normally if I have something this small I just I cut it out just like that and save this in my box and this goes in the garbage cars are pretty cool but this one's too big it's too wide to go in my book so I'm not gonna cut it um, pretty much any little thing I I've been cutting these for so long now this picture um, this is Sophia Vergara and it's a good picture because of the background you see and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that one but what I got in the back yeah I'll tear this one out but I don't I want to make sure I don't rip this off so I'm just gonna score it a little just slightly score it with my scissors right there on the edge okay and it'll come out easy. Let's see what else. So this is this is a Spanish version of people and Vogue put together. Perfume bottles. Those are really fun. And lipsticks. Oh, there goes my box. But that's okay. I'll get it later. Oh, good news, by the way. Um, last video, I had uh, <clears throat> was uh, waiting to see what these hurricanes were gonna do. Well, it spared me in my area, um, pretty far away from Lake Charles, which is where Laura hit. Um, it was a devastation over there. It's it's bad, but uh, I lucked out. These watches are cute, they're different colors, and they're, they're the right size. So, I'm going to put these. Oops, I don't want to cut them up. And that's going to go in my box. This girl with the flowers in her head is probably going to be good. So... Linda's mixed up. Hello, Linda. <laughs> okay, let's see. These roses are cute, too. I could cut around that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. And this is good size right here for my little book. I don't see anything cut out of this magazine. Is this one of the ones? Yeah. Maybe I, I missed this one before. <clears throat> it's funny. When I first started doing a lot of gluing and stuff, um, I was cutting out different things back then. And then as you start doing it more, you, you realize the things that you, you want and need. I'm looking for... I, I'm not going to want to make a composition okay for instance if I was doing a specific artwork I might want to cut this girl out and put her with something or, or other all I'm doing is cutting for glue book which is just cutting and sticking I like this girl she's uh, somebody from the 60s oh 
And then we got Grace Kelly in the back with a big dress. Oh, and Audrey Hepburn over here. I like the old movie stars. Let's see. We got a, hmm. I already have Grace Kelly in one of them, but too many. There's no such thing as too many Grace Kelly. So I'm going to save this page. And I might keep both. I'm just going to keep the whole page for now and not sure which one I'm going to use. Okay. <clears throat> Shakira, she's too big for my book. So I'm going to cut out Audrey Hepburn here. And these scissors. Oh, these scissors have legs. Okay. I like the scissors and I like Audrey. So we're going to cut here. Perfect size. So, um, like I was saying, when, when I first started cutting images to do collage, I was calling it collage. In collage, to me, when you do a collage, you kind of plan a composition. Um, you you want to make some kind of cohesive piece of art that... You know, one item has to do with another item. I like that Oscar. If I could cut him out separately. Tom Cruise hands in a way. Hmm. I don't know. I like, I like the Oscar. The Oscar looks good. I might keep that Oscar. And figure out a way to do it. Sorry, Tom. Cutting right through you. Yeah, I like this Oscar. You know, sometimes when when you have a figure, and, and this is only if you really, really must have this image, what you could do is paint over, like her sleeve right here, and his hand, and maybe like, I don't know. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut like... It's, it's, you're going to see that black part right there. But eventually I'm going to cover it up with some other sticky piece of paper. So Let's see what else we got. Well, this is Charlie Chaplin. That's perfect picture of Charlie Chaplin right there. Let's see what we got here. have some other ones. This one's cute too. I'm going to keep that one. And this one. This magazine has a lot of uh, old movie stars in royals. For some reason, I, I don't know, I guess Hispanic people like royals, huh? English royals. But then they have royals from other countries also. But mostly English royals. So... I like this picture. Okay, keeping Charlie. Let's see what we got here. Now this <clears throat> would be interesting for a background. If I wanted to cover the whole page, I could cover the whole page with this. There's no words on it or anything. It's, it's really pretty colors. It's light. And you can just glue right on top of it. That would be a perfect background. But right now, I don't need a background. I need this cat. He's so little, though. I don't know if you could see that. A little kitty. He's dancing. Uh, yeah, right there. Little kitty dancing up in the air. I gotta have him. What's on this side? Nothing. Yes. So. Gotta have the little kitty. I'm a sucker for animals. Cats, mostly. Dogs. One of the magazines I get when I see it, which is hard to find magazines nowadays, is, um, 
called Birds in Bloom. And it's a bird watchers magazine. Beautiful pictures in there. And then there's Cat Fancy. And if I can find Cat Fancy, I could get a picture of almost every page. That's a good horse. That reminds me of the Brady Bunch horse. You know, the one the kids broke? I think it was kids broke. Oh, what's it? They broke a vase. And this tied, I mean, come on, look. Perfect. It's just all flowers. I could cut a hole right there. It's a perfect page. I'm going to save this whole page. Let's see if I can tear it out without tearing it up. Let's do a little stretch in here. It with my scissors. These poor scissors are kind of loaded up with glue. That's a good page. Love that ad. Oh, the one with the cat? Yeah. Now, this couch is really cute. That would be cute to like if you had the couch and say you had some uh, cats or dogs, you could sit them on top of the couch. But he's too big. I'm pretty sure it's too big, too big for my book. This is uh, six, let me see at the widest part, which is right here. It's uh, um, measuring it backwards. I wonder I can't measure it. Okay, what we got here? Yeah, it's about, it's over six inches, so it's not going to fit. But I'm going to leave it there. I don't throw these magazines away because I, I, I can't. Uh, get magazines that easily not nowadays now I like the grapes and I like I like these I do use a lot of uh, vegetables and fruits oh I have this drink is cute too I'm gonna pass that one up this drink And these veggies. Now all this is going to be fuzzy cut. And I like the grapes. Grapes are cute. Okay. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, look at the salt shaker. That's perfect. And it doesn't have any writing on it. And it has really big blank space right there. I could glue something in it. That's a good one. That's a keeper. A lot of eyes. They're too big for what I need right now. So, what else we got? We got what else we got? Ooh, Chris Pine. Sorry, Chris, you're too big. Who's this? This Lady Gaga. Uh, yep, Lady Gaga. I like this picture of her. So weird. I like the horse. I could cut this horse out without the lady's hand. Lady Gaga, you're too big. But I'm going to save you for another project. Yep, the horse can be cut out. Cut the lady's hands out. There. And some jewels. I got tons of jewels. I don't need any more. What is this? This is Greta Garbo. <gasps> Little bitty tiny picture of Greta. And I like this horse. Horse kind of thing going there. Yeah. These are Littles. Get my Littles. And these girls, this magazine's old. They don't do this anymore. They do something else. This is from 2014, yeah. The horoscope every month has this cute cartoon girl. And I've been cutting them out. Not really fussy cutting them because it's so thin that it, it would completely tear up if I cut it, fuzzy cut it. But I do cut it just really close and leave a margin. And they're cute. Alright, so that's one magazine.
There was another one that one of these I was looking at earlier. The back. Nope. Maybe it's this one. Yeah. Has this picture. Look at the jelly beans. Those are perfect. Perfect little jelly beans. The lipsticks are way too big. But the jelly beans are really... The, it would be these right here. So, I'm going to cut those out. Let's see what's in here. Nothing important. Okay. Now, I like this picture too, but it's just too big. I like the colors. They're bright. And that's just going to add some color to a page. And I'm, I'm going to leave this in here. Oh. <laughs> oh. I like this dress. I like that thing. Whatever that is. But it's so big. It wouldn't fit in my little book. But it's going to stay in there. And I'll just keep a mental note. I like this shoe. The shoe's too big really to, to do anything. It's some... Uh, Couture stuff. Mm, downtown Abbey. Yeah. Oh boy, Harry. And yeah, here goes the Royals. They always have pictures of the Royals. I don't know who that is. Oh, here's a. They. This magazine has a lot of art. This one kind of washed out looking though. Retro the Olga. So picture of Olga. I don't know who Olga is. Now this little statue here. That's a keeper. I'm supposed to cut that little boy and stick it somewhere. Yep. Let's see what else. This is like the travel travel section. Oh, isn't that that guy from Lucifer? Yeah, he's in an ad right there. That's before the show came on. <coughs> it's nice to see food being used. Don't see it a lot. I like food. If you saw me, you'd, you'd understand. <laughs> I like food too much. Yes. Let's see, Sandra Bullock and a bunch of dogs. <laughs> That shoe. Gotta have that shoe. The zipper. Hmm. I might. In the car. Yeah. The car is a perfect size. Okay, so we got the car. The shoe. And the zipper. Yeah, there we go. Let's see, and one of these girls again, but she's kind of little. Let me see what else we got in here. Yeah, there's the shoe again, and that shoe's smaller. <laughs> I gotta have that shoe. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to cut it out because the feathers, it's like, I'm going to have to do just a, like a border. Just carefully cut around the border. I'm not. No jewels. Car. That's a good car. I got plenty of cars, so... I like, I like the soldier, that's a stamp, it's a British stamp, right, because I think that's the Queen, Private William, and I like this, oh, and I like the dresses, not sure about this page, but I'll, I'm keeping this page, I might, these are perfect little pictures. Um, this one from my book. And then you have the dresses. Which these are great to make paper dolls with. 
But paper dolls, um, they're really cute and all, but they cause me a lot of anxiety. <laughs> trying, trying to find, trying to find the, the right head, the right legs. Look at this girl showing her drawers. See, these would be good legs, I guess, to cut for a paper doll. But then, and then every time I try to make a paper, a paper doll, it, it gets taller and taller and, and it won't fit in my book, so... I'm staying away from paper dolls right now. You need like a really good collection of body parts to make paper dolls. Uh, let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. Makeup is really cool. Like this is nice for a background because you get all this color. I would cut this out, but it's got this on it. So that's not gonna work. This is some jewelry. I got enough jewels. These size girls are really good. And I got a few of those already. They're they're easy size to put in my book, like the little ones like this one. hanging up this is gonna drive me nuts but I think my camera is moved I keep pushing up okay here we go these girls are really good to cut out especially like this one's got everything and this one here is out and, well who got this but they're too big too big for my little look yeah, and I, I have, I love this dress. It's that's gonna, yeah. I gotta do something with that. You have to think about it. And I think it went over all of that already. Okay, let's see. Go put these up. And this is the one that, this one, yeah. I picked this one up at the. Salvation Army food and wine. Now, food, I like the individual, um, this page, okay? This whole page, this whole section here with the bees, that really makes a lot, that's, that's beautiful. It's got, it's got color, it's got, uh, pattern, fuzzy cut all this and put it on the edge of a page the bottle too but the bottle's too big for me right now so I'm gonna cut the honeycomb because the honeycomb I can cut it I can trim it have a whole strip of artwork right there cool honeycomb let's see what else I got See, this would probably work. The problem I have with these is, is, is the clear clear glass. You can't fuzzy cut the clear gla gla glass. <laughs> so if I were to cut this out and stick it on a dark background, this will come up white. So I, I'm not sure about that yet. Now these plates are perfect. Perfect size plates. They're round. They have nothing that's going to and this ice cream cone yep all right so the plates now like i was saying this is not uh, this is for my glue book i do not call my glue book really a collage art because collage you have to pretty much do a composition kind of thing glue book is just cutting and gluing and you know you keep adding to a page and then you, there is some kind of comp composition on some of them you know uh some of them it's the same color or the same type of of look i like these girls but uh 
I can't see me cutting those out. Whew. I'll think about it. It's a little stuff. This bottle. That's a cute little bottle. Yeah, and there's a cute little bottle. And this couple is... Oh, is that a painting? The, the background is a painting. Okay. This bottle is perfect size. And this bottle is perfect. Not sure about them. These are a good size too. They're kind of on the big side, but that's okay. I figured out when you when you're doing a glue book, you you glue down your biggest pictures first, and then you go back in and fill in with the smaller stuff. This bottle. This one's got a lot of bottles. That's a keeper. What else we got? This uh, tequila. Some Roca, Roca Patron. <laughs> this picture together is too big for my book. I would have to just cut this one out in the middle to fit it. Or just cut these two out. Or these two out. I'll think about it. Okay, now we're getting to food here. This right here makes really good pattern. Let's see if I can stretch it out a little bit. That that's a good background. These are look like jalapeno peppers, or is that jalapeno peppers? Or yeah, spicy. And then you got your blueberries. If I can get this without tearing up. Oh. I like the the berries and the jalapeno peppers. See. That's pattern and color. This pepper is kind of cool too, but it's got the eh, it's got the sour cream on there. All right, let's see what else we got. Ah, uh, this page. I had I saw this page earlier, and it's got all these flowers. That's a lot of fuzzy cutting, but that's a lot of cute flowers. So, ooh, and then we have this. I'm going to have to think on this one, and I'll keep it. Ah, look at the chilies on that. Just, I don't want the potato chips. Just the chilies. Perfect size for my book. All right. I don't want to let this go on for way too long. So let's see what we're doing now. We are at 33 minutes. Okay. So you, you, you understand what I mean is I'm looking for small, small little pictures to do. And I'll show you why. And this is, this is almost done. This glue book. It's gotten hugely fat. Hugely. <laughs> see, look at that. <laughs> been working on it and uh here we go uh let's see see the little pictures none of this goes together i mean darth vader with uh lipstick and flowers but i like it it looks good right <laughs> what's wrong with darth vader <laughs> and then these girls i started with her and I noticed she had black, black and red. Then I found this girl, she had black and red. So then I found some red flowers. And then I had a little piece of black lace. Hey, black and red. 
And this one I'm not that crazy about. It's kind of all Marsy looking. Uh, and uh, see, I just stuck this as a snail. That's some old ancient painting, and I stuck this on there. And it's just little, none of this really goes together, but it, uh, I like it. Now, I can still go back over here and, you know, outline stuff and, and maybe doodle. But I just start by gluing one thing down. I think the only thing I glued here was the cat. And then I started putting everything in the pink and white. Kind of girly stuff. And then I found the words. Elegance, charm, and here, whimsy. Here's food. Um, I haven't put anything on this page. Oh, have I? Wait. Okay, yeah. This the <laughs> this is the background. Then I glue the plate. Then I glue the coffee cup with the with the bread or cookies or biscuits, whatever you want to call that. Uh, this is more like a cat collection thing with the gecko. Some of these I could add more stuff to. This is a picture of my son. And we live in Louisiana. So I started finding things that kind of represent Louisiana, which was fish, the alligator, um, pelican, Mardi Gras mask. Yeah. So that's what the concept of that is. And this is more kitty. And I found this where exhibition is on, and I thought, oh, why not? <laughs> just stick it all together. And pretty much what I do is just kind of keep it in the same same colors, or maybe the same subject. And like this has no relation to each other whatsoever, other than there's a lot of green. And a picture of this girl, the only, she had green on her eyes right here. It just went well with the green, so I put it in there. Um, see. That's why I look for little, little pictures. This is just a hat I put on this uh, drawing. And I believe these are eggs. These are Easter eggs. Decorated the Easter eggs, and I cut them out. And I used the background of makeup here. This was a jelly print that I had a picture of a window, like a window stencil on it. So I cut out the panes and make sure I had a picture that you could see through. Um, this is a this is one of my food pages. I have a George Foreman here with some hamburgers and. Then I got the apples and the tea. This is the iced tea glass with this little advertisement of cherries and just kind of keep the food going. Here I stuck food just, just because I had a spot here and I thought it looked good with the puzzle background. I don't think Napoleon has anything to do with it, but <laughs> and this one all had uh, glittery stuff and bluish and purplish colors and that's all little little pieces um this one I have room to add more this one's just colorful orange and cats this has got a couple of the uh, old tiny pictures vintage pictures on there here's some more fruits and vegetables and Wonder Woman. I don't know why I put Wonder Woman in there. It, it fits, so I stuck it there. And I like it. <laughs> and uh, these were, I believe, perfume ads. And they had the flowers around them. But I stuck a piece of, of jelly print, I think, back there. And then I stuck these girls on top. And like, try to keep a little bit of the 
same colors, like tiny, wimey, that one. And, and this is like an Asian page. And this one's, uh, I was concentrated on red. And the Queen of Hearts. And some lips that would shape like a heart. And I have some stickers with glasses on them. And I stuck that one on Venus. And then more cats. A lot of cat commercials. I like cats. And this is this has got more room. This has got like I need to put a bird right here and something up here. A lot of these I used a whole page. Well actually no. This is these are plates. I cut them out, and then this is, this is a piece of artwork. It's layered. And it's just, uh, just from a wedding magazine, wedding cake. And these are puffets. Just make a little puffets. There we go. This one, this needs, it, I could stick more stuff in there it could I could stick stuff on here forever and these are yeah there's my other um oh what's her name <laughs> well I got Marilyn there and uh yeah so. this is kind of old-fashioned girly I could use some more stuff on here. This is from an advertisement of uh, 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 washi tape, yeah, washi tape. And this this came from one of those organizers date date books date uh, planners. I don't do planners. I just bought the pages because they were cute and they were cheap. So I cut out the girls on there. <laughs> And this is supposed to be those little tiny brownies. I don't like this page at all. I'm gonna have to do something with it. So, and here's just little pictures. And oh, I cut this picture. I found this picture of Faye Dunaway when she played uh, Bonnie and Bonnie and Clyde. And then I found this picture of these two guys in these old jalopies. And I thought, oh, that would look good, perfect together. See, and it just, it just. You find stuff, right? And this bow is covering some text that this picture had. So, and this is a bottle of grapeseed oil. So another cat. And I put some ribbon right here. The here I got space for more. Uh, this one's really nobody wants to flunk. I don't know, I just, I found that phrase and I thought it was funny and put it there and I have an empty chair in the universe here. So I could put more stuff in that. And perfume bottles all over the place. Yes, perfume bottles and old stickers. I've been finding old stickers and just getting rid of them that I've been having for years. I never use stickers. And of course you can use washi tape. I got this little washi tape right here. Here I cut the, the door of this cabinet and put a little flower and right here. This could, I could put some more stuff around here. It's just kind of hard because it's got this door open. And here's some more ribbon. I just glued a piece of ribbon and more of these flowers. I love this page. Uh, I don't know where I found this phrase, magic mushrooms, but it goes perfect with this. I try to keep it psychedelic. You know, the first thing I had was was uh, with Jimi Hendrix, and then I found this artwork. It's not my artwork; it's from an art book. I put that in the background, and then I found David Bowie and the psychedelic-looking uh, bug. Yeah, it went perfect. And here are some animals. That's another horse and cats and dogs and and stuff. There we go. Yeah. I need to, uh, I got like some graffiti and stuff in the background here and then I found this picture of Amy Winehouse and I thought, oh, 
that looks perfect. It's her style, so. And I think that's it on this one. That's the last page. Okay. So I still got room to stick more stuff. Now, I've started this new one. <laughs> I, I, I like this so much. I started a new one. So this one, I went a little bit more out. And I covered the book with some fabric that I had. And I put this right here. And I have, after taking out the pages, um, about half the pages out of the book, I went ahead and covered each remaining page with something. And it's just a background. All these are backgrounds. And I started painting uh, gold in the crevices and around but uh, some of this is, is uh, some of these are magazine pages like this, okay? And some of them are scrapbooking paper. And this is a piece of art that I cut out a piece part of it that I was working on. And these, this is a magazine page, and this is uh, this is the scrapbook paper and, and the figures from the magazine. This is a doodle that I did in a magazine with a marker. And I thought, huh, I just cut out the more interesting part and stuck it on here as the background. So right now, I just wanted to cover each page, both pages trying to coincide with the other, with a solid piece of paper. And um, this is like uh, Mod Podge, a bunch of uh, book pages on here figured I'm just going to do the backgrounds first, all that done, and then go and, and start fuzzy cutting and collecting. Um, I have a small collection here of a bunch of stuff that I've been cutting, because that's what takes the longest, is the cutting. The cutting! Now see, the, this is, uh, this, these are, that's makeup, and makeup makes really good backgrounds. You know, you could just, like, divide a page with that. And so each page, I tried to make it look a little different. And just cut images that were large enough to cover a whole page and be good as a background. And some of these are from wedding magazines, some from fashion magazines. This is from an art magazine. There's a wedding magazine, but I like the dog. I could care less about the bride. I just wanted the dog. He's so cute. Looks like a little uh, Italian greyhound. And then, of course, that's wedding. And this is wedding, too. And, and see, like, here, these two pages had a lot of white in them and, and black. Like, this had black outline, and this has a large black figure right here. So it kind of goes together. And that's, I'm probably going to look for other things that are black and white and stick it on here. And this is maps. More scrap of paper. Let's see. More maps. This is uh, drop, uh, drop paper. Drop paper is this. Well, I've been doodling on this one, but usually when I'm painting, and I wipe my brush off on the paper. And I end up with a, some cool colors, and I just stuck that on there. Yep. Okay. There we go. And that's the last page. And this is also part of that other paper that I had painted. And ta-da! And I covered it. This first time I ever cover a book. I did do the best job of it. Probably need to re-glue some spots. And I made this loose. Because I intended to get about this big. Alright. So that's all I have for you. Um, just got to cut some more. And uh, until I can start working on it. So thank you for watching. Y'all stay healthy and safe.
and uh, y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.